Hello friends, today we are going to see the MCQ of surveying in the topic of area and volumes. So the first question, 1 gunta equal to dash square feet. Option A, 1088. Option B, 4356. Option C, 1089. Option D, 4450. So the correct answer is option C, 1089. So 1 gunta equal to 1089 square feet. So next question, 1 acre equal to how much square feet? Option A 43560, Option B 4356, Option C 43550, Option D 4386. So the correct answer is Option A 43560. So 1 acre equal to 43560 square feet. So next question, which of the following is method of calculating the boundary area? Option A Simpson rule. Option B, mid ordinate rule. Option C, average ordinate rule. Option D, all of the above. So the correct answer is option D, all of the above. So next question, which instrument can be used when the shape of the boundaries are very irregular? Option A, planimeter. Option B, area table. Option B, abnace level. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option A, planimeter. So next question, while calculating the boundary area, which method gave most accurate results as compared to the rest of the methods? Option A, trapezoidal rule. Option B, Simpson's rule. Option C, mid-ordinate rule. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option B, Simpson rule. So next question, when number of offsets available or even in numbers, then Simpson rule can be applied directly Option A, yes. Option B, no. Option C, cannot say from number of offset. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option B, no. So next question, which method consider boundary between offset as parabolic curve? Option A, mid-ordinate rule. Option B, Simpson rule. Option C, average ordinate rule. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option B, Simpson rule. So next question, trapezoidal rule can be applied only when the number of offsets are even. Option A, true. Option B, false. Option C, cannot say. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option B, false. So next question, when offsets on boundary are taken at very irregular intervals, which of the following is preferred? Option A, trapezoidal rule. Option B, Simpson rule. Option C, coordinate method. Option D, mid-ordinate rule. So the correct answer is option C coordinate method. So next question, which method of calculating an area of traverse? Option A coordinate method, option B latitude and DMD method, option C departure and total latitude method, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question, a scalar triangle whose three sides are only known from survey data and no other parameters are given which is best suitable for calculating the area of triangle option a pythagoras theorem option b half perimeter formula option c cannot say option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b half perimeter method so next question what is the full form of dmd in context of travels option a dual mode distance option b double meridian distance option c both a and b option d none of the above so the correct answer is option B, double median distance. So next question, in traverse, the first survey line, the meridian distance is equal to option A, departure of that line, option B, half of departure of that line, option C, departure of preceding line, option D, half of departure of succeeding line. So the correct answer is option B, half of departure of that line. So next question, in latitude, and DMD method, the reference meridian of traverse should pass through option A, most westward station, option B, any station, option C, first station, option D, most eastward station. The correct answer is option A, most westward station. So next question, if the calculated area of traverse has negative sign, then is it significant? Option A, sign has no significance. Option B, sign has significance. Option C, cannot say. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is, option A, sign has no significance. So next question, while calculating the area of planimeter, the value of multiple constant M for, for natural scale is, option A, 100, option B, 10, option C, cannot say. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is, option A, 100. 
So next question, the value of additive constant C is considered in the calculation where anchor point of planimeter is option A inside the figure, option B outside the figure, option C both A and B, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A inside the figure. So next question, for estimation of volume of earthwork, dash are taken at right angles to fixed line which runs longitudinally through the earthwork. Option A cross sections, option B excavator pits, option C barrow pits, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A cross sections. So next question, the various practical sections used in general practice are option A level section, option B side hill two level section, option C multi level section, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question, volume of earthwork is calculated by option A trapezoidal formula, option B prismoidal formula, option C both A and B, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C both A and B. So next question, can we apply prismoidal formula to calculate the volume when there are even number of cross sections formed along the center of line? Option A yes, option B no, option C cannot say, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B no. So next question, in the level station, the depth of cutting or filling is assessed by the taking difference of ground level GL with option A, reduce level, option B, formation level, option C, benchmark, option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option B, formation level. So next question, if the formation level at zero chain edge is 150 meters and there is a rising gradient in 1 in 100, then formation level at 200 meter distance from the starting point is option A, 150 meters, option B, 152 meters, option C, 151 meters, option D, 155 meters. So the correct answer is option B, 152 meters. So next question, generally when we need more accuracy, and it is inconvenient to apply the prismodal formula, then we can calculate volume of trapezoidal formula and is applied a correction is known as option A prismodal correction, option B trapezoidal correction, option C curvature correction, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A prismodal correction. So next question, prismodal correction is always option A positive, option B negative, option C both A and B, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B negative. So next question, to access the capacity of reservoir proposed at the location we need dash of the region. Option A contour map, option B vertical map, option C cadastral map, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A contour map. So next question, in practice the reservoir capacity is measured up to option A normal level, option B full reservoir level, option C high flood level, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B full reservoir level. So next question, 1 hectare meter equal to dash liters, option A 10 crore, option B 1 crore, option C 10 lakh, option D 1 lakh. So the correct answer is 1 crore. So 1 hectare meter equal to 1, car, 1 crore liters. So next question, when on curves, center line of road is curved and the cross section for volume calculation which are not parallel to the each other are corrected for curvature based on option A, purpose theorem, option B, end area theorem, option C, both A and B, option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option A, purpose theorem. So next question, Correction for curvature for level section in volume computation is option A positive, option B negative, option C zero, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C zero. So again we will see in next video. Thank you.